couple of front pages for you. What are they leading with? Oh, Olympics. Go figure. Uh, the Sun. <laughs> I like this, actually. They've uh, done all the bean, the bees for Team GB. Bond, Bex, Beatles. The baked bean, brilliant. They end with the baked bean. Cockney rhyming slang for the Queen. Uh, Daily Mirror. <laughs> uh, ring it on. Uh, simple title for them. Um, Olympic rings, that's the uh, the idea there. And they used a picture from earlier in the week of uh, one of the uh, dress rehearsals of tonight's spectacular opening ceremony. Independence chosen um, a picture from yesterday. Uh, the uh, flame coming through Oxford Street uh, in London. Uh, thousands of people um, turned out uh, to uh, cheer it on in the glorious weather. And a uh, fantastic picture there of uh, Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, playing table tennis during a visit yesterday to a sports charity at Bacon's College in East London. Well, whether it be uh, the Queen's love of horses, Prince William's devotion to football, or Prince Harry's enthusiasm for polo and rugby, the Royals have always been keen on sport, as that picture would suggest. Indeed, and in a show of support ahead of the Olympics, as we saw there, the Duchess of Cambridge has uh, revealed quite a skill for table tennis. Let's take a look at how the young Royals have been getting involved in the Games. What all three of us have in common is that we love sport. And not just playing it, but for what it does for people young and old. Watching me on the football field is never a pretty sight. However, it's marginally less embarrassing than seeing my brother cheat his way to becoming the fastest man on the planet. Well, we're joined now by Heba Fredge, who we saw there uh, playing table tennis with Kate, along with young coach Timmy Tanubu and uh, the Mail's Royal Editor, uh, Katie Nicholl. Welcome uh, to you all. Uh, Heba, let's start with you first. It looked like you were having great fun playing table tennis with uh, the Duchess of Cambridge. Give us a flavour of what it was like. Oh, it was brilliant playing with Kate yesterday. She was good, wasn't she? Yeah, she was brilliant. Uh, what she... did she say to you? Well, she said I was amazing. Did she? <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> and is it true that she apologised for not being very good afterwards? Uh, I don't think so. No, well, that's it said in the papers today, but look at her there. She looks very good. Was she very nice, very warm and yeah, friendly? Yeah, she is very nice and friendly, actually. Were you taking it easy on her? Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she's good. I like that. I've played a bit of table tennis in my time. That's not bad at all. Is it, coach? No, not Look at all. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell us about um, Coach Call, which is something you know, very dear to the Royals' heart. Uh, yeah, um, as what the Royal Foundation is really helping with Greenhouse as well, Coach Call is a, is a, um, a programme where we're going to train up apprentices, along with myself and a, a couple others, where we're going to give them elite training to then take them into schools and then really inspire young people, in, um, great young athletes and elite athletes and mentor them yeah. in a way as well. And what difference does it have the young royals? Oh the young royal the young royals like being involved with that really it just it gives it that sort of boost. Yeah. That sort of boost that it puts the name out there and of, of obviously the, I mean when they visited yesterday it was uh, the kids were buzzing they loved it. I mean really great people really nice people there. Harry um, could have done better apparently. He missed yeah. a few of these shots bless him. <laughs> there, weren't, there weren't a few it was all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Yeah, he, he took four he, he didn't need more but no he had some potential really did he I think I think he could a little, bit, a little bit more practice. He's naturally gifted I think. Yeah I think Harry. so yeah. just I mean fastest man in the world right now so. <laughs> yeah he's yeah. Really Katie, a reference to the fact that he took on uh, Usain Bolt and yes. beat him when he was on tour in the Caribbean. Yes of course now I think uh, well, I think we have some pictures of that actually. Uh, Katie this is right up for the Royals uh, street really isn't it the it young is. Royals. Absolutely and I, I I think sort of watching Kate play with Heva yesterday really exciting as Timmy was saying just to have them as ambassadors and Prince William gave a speech at the event yesterday saying that they love sport that's what unites them that's what the unites the young royals we've seen Zara well she'll be competing of course for Team GB she was carrying the torch we we expect William Harry and Kate at about 30 events over the Olympics so they're really getting behind it and I think it's because they love sport but also as this has proved it's about bringing people together and also putting the spotlight on charities that we might otherwise not have heard about and that's what that's what they're about so if they can unite these loves Perfect for mm. them. You mentioned Prince William uh, yesterday. I mean, uh, speaking, he was really relaxed. So, with a little, little clip actually of what he said. Let's have a look. Catherine, on the other hand, 
with a tennis racket or a hockey stick is something to behold. But what all three of us have in common is that we love sport. For us to hold the Olympic and the Paralympic Games here in London is a great moment for our nation. It was really nice, wasn't it, to um, hear him speak like that? Smart. And of course, we've got and very to relaxed, like you very, said. Very, very relaxed, and um, and you're very lucky to have all three of them. But also, we've got to mention the dress, Katie. I know we're always <laughs> I all know. eyes are on Katie. Thirty-five. Timmy, the dress you can contribute to this I conversation yeah, if you want. Well, I can relate well, to this. You won't be able to get it because it's sold out. Of course, everything <laughs> Kate wears sells out within minutes of her stepping out in it. But yeah, she was in this fabulous high street number, typical Kate in a dress. Although later on in the afternoon, when they watched the Olympic torch come through Buckingham Palace, she changed into a pair of Capri pants and a polo shirt. One wonders if that might have been more suitable. Maybe she might have done better against you, Eva, if she was in her trousers. <laughs> Who knows? But she actually, listen, she flies the flag for Britain and she's doing it wonderfully at the moment. And of course, for fashion, which uh, she'll use at every opportunity. Let's share those pictures then of uh, Harry taking on uh, Usain Bolt uh, during his, <laughs> his, his tour earlier this year uh, in the Caribbean. Eva, what do you make of, of the Royals and the way they've embraced sports? Is it important to, for someone like you to see them getting involved? Yes, it is. Because it, like, Greenhouse helps um, me and all different young people that play other sports to help me in school, um, with make new yeah. friends and train harder and harder. So opportunities that you might yeah, not otherwise might have had. Yeah, might get, yeah. Oh, no, it's fantastic. I bet it's, it's it's treasure well. yesterday. it's treasure yesterday's yeah. memory. Yeah, I'm sure it's lovely. Thank you so much, all of you, for coming in. Thank you, nice for having us. Thank you. Right.